Overcurrent protection is the most commonly used protection type for protecting electrical equipment. Today, we will cover the meaning of overcurrent protection. Also, we will understand the difference between overload protection and short circuit protection. Consider subscribing to Electrical Engineering Planet channel to support our community. Also, don't forget to share, like, and let knowledge enlighten your world. First of all, let's define the term overcurrent. Overcurrent is the situation where an excessive electric current exists in the circuit. This excessive current is beyond the acceptable current rating of equipment. So a sensing relay is existed in the circuit to sense any overcurrent. Then it will send a signal to the breaker to open the circuit to protect the electrical equipment from excessive current. As you can see here, in low voltage systems, the breaker and the sensing relay exists all in one place. Medium voltage and high voltage systems use a protective system consisting of circuit breakers, current transformers, and digital protection relay instead. We can divide over current term into two important terms, overload and short circuit. Overload is a current greater than the current which the circuit is designed to carry. Like when we connect too much loads on an extension cord or when an induction motor draws more current than the rated current. But it's less than the short circuit current. Short circuit current is the traveling current along an unintended path with no or very low resistance. So in this chart, we have a normal current for an electrical equipment until we reach to the maximum normal current value or full load current. After that, we have the pickup current at which the overload starts. As we increase the current, the overload increases until we reach to the short circuit current. We adjust here the sensing relay that we use to protect the circuit against overload to work on an inverse curve. This is called the characteristic tripping curve. Here the x-axis represents the amount of current and y-axis represents the time of tripping that the relay takes to send the signal to the breaker to open the circuit when a fault occur. As we increase the current from zero to full load current, still we are in a normal condition. Until we reach to the pickup current, here we will start this inverse definite minimum time curve. As the overload current increases, the tripping time will be faster, which is logic. If the current reaches to the short circuit current, at this time another sensing relay used for short circuit current will operate and will send the signal instantaneously. So the breaker will open in no time. Here, we have no inverse curve. The breaker will open the circuit instantaneously. A thermal magnetic circuit breakers, like miniature circuit breakers, provide protection against both overload and short circuit. The thermal element inside the breaker protects the circuit against overload, and the magnetic element protects the circuit against short circuit. In some molded case circuit breakers types, we could have an adjustable curve for proper coordination. We can change the pickup current and short circuit current values, also the curve of inverse definite minimum time. We can cover this curve more in depth in another video. Note that in ANSI code, we use the number 50 as a representation for short circuit protection and the number 51 as a representation for overload protection. In the next video, we will continue answering the most asked interview questions for electrical engineers. Please feel free to check the resources in the description down below. Consider subscribing to Electrical Engineering Planet channel to support our community. Also, don't forget to share, like, and let knowledge enlighten your world. Thanks for watching.